Hi folks and welcome. Going to give you a uh, brief rundown on dry it fast restoration, water damage extraction. We are a thermal structural drying company. I will tell you a little bit about our equipment and how we dry. Um, this is a homemade video and I actually am fighting a little bit of a cold so you'll have to deal with me. But um, typically when we get a call to a water damage, we never really know the scope or the size of it till we arrive. This house here that I'm, I'm arriving at, uh, we took a look at actually yesterday afternoon and it is a bank owned or credit union owned uh, house that had a cracked pipe from the freeze. I want you to take notice of the windows. Um, I'm hoping that we can get a pretty good shot on those. And if you see the moisture, I just want to let you know all that water content that you're seeing on these windows is actually inside the house. And that is uh, not a good thing from the standpoint of, you know, mold growth and mold spores. Uh, one of the critical things with a water damage restoration job is getting there fast. And that's why we call our company Dry It Fast, because that, that's exactly what we do. Now, the way that we do that, we are the only authorized dealer in North Florida that uses TESS. And TESS is this baby right here. Um, this is actually a 250,000 BTU uh, propane fired boiler unit and when you dry with heat you can dry fast and there's a lot of a uh, lot of information on drying with heat and how well it works and we can go into that on the next video and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some uh, some great insight on why you as either an agent a property manager or regular homeowner would demand tests and and really look at it as the only option period for a water damage restoration job when we arrived here uh, there was standing water in all the rooms the extraction was done uh, the extraction took a little over five hours because extraction is the number one uh, thing that you do and if you do it well you can dry a house pretty fast the uh, Walls had moisture levels as high as four and five feet tall. Uh, up the wall, it had wicked up the sheetrock. And in normal conventional drying with just regular dehues, which you won't see a single dehue on this job site, um, but with normal dehues and air movers, this would be a five to seven day dry out with removing and scrapping baseboards. I'm gonna walk you through the house here, so just bear with me. You can see my hoses, I'll explain them in a minute. Um, but it would be a normal five to seven day dry out. And they would rip out the baseboards and most likely they'd have to cut about two feet of sheetrock out of the wall sections. And then you'd have probably close to about two weeks of reconstruction and uh, well demolition and reconstruction and then paint work and basically you're going to be looking at about a one month turnaround to get this house back in order now we got the call simply because this house is one that was uh, taken back by the credit union and everybody knows what the economy is like right now in 2010 and they actually had a uh, working contract on this house now what you're going to see is we're going to get fogged over a little bit here. So I'm going to pause for a brief minute and let the camera acclimate to the relative humidity inside the house here. So I will be back with you in one minute. 